Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. And today I'm gonna to set up a little 10 gallon tank for a little boy who asked for a fish. So let me show you what the ingredients are for this. So here's what I'm bringing over to his house. A little seeded sponge, check valve, because who doesn't like cool air bubbles going up? Anubis Nana Petite, super glued to a little rock. Two, a, a gang valve so I can connect both. A little food to get started. Decoration, it's pretty cool. It's gonna sub as a flower pot as well. A little tiny air pump. And a variety of plants that I've taken from tanks. So we got some water sprite, water fern, Natalia, a big Anubius, and some of the um, moss balls that aren't moss. So I'm so excited. Uh, and here's a 10 gallon. I'm gonna be meeting up with them in about an hour, so I thought I'd fill it up with water first, just to make sure these 10 gallon tanks aren't the thickest glass. And it's been sitting in my car for a little bit, so. I'm just going to verify that it holds water and I'm going to pack everything up and hopefully, well, yeah, hopefully I'm going to show them how to uh, set up a fish tank. Okay, so I filled the tank up with water to make sure it wasn't leaking. I mean, I learned this the hard way and if you didn't see my video, check it out. It's over there coming up on a card right now, how I learned the hard way, setting up these little tiny tanks without filling it up with water first. Yay, we have success. We have a tank that holds. I hope this little boy's gonna like it. Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. And I'm with my friend Calvin today. Say hi, Calvin. Hi. And today we're gonna be setting up Calvin with a fish tank. And what are we doing today, Calvin? We're setting up a fish tank for him. And he knows it's gonna take a while for the tank to cycle and be ready for his fish, so we're really setting up an aquatic garden for him to get the plants established and get him ready for his fish. And then I'm gonna take him to the fish store in a couple weeks and let him pick out some fish. Or I'll bring him over Q Aquatics and let him pick him out some fish, whatever he wants to do. Right, Calvin? Let's get started. Okay, Calvin, so I want to show you a couple things. These are the things that are going in your fish tank. These things. So we got the air pump. And what's the air pump going to make happen? <laughs> With the bubble wand, right? With the bubbles. So, the, uh, so, the so I brought you a filter from Susie's fish tank. Yeah. Do you know what's inside that filter? I don't know. Inside that filter. Bacteria. Do you think it's good bacteria or bad? Good! It is! This is the good kind of bacteria. This is going to help filter your water and help your fish go good. And then I brought you decoration and a whole lot of plants. Are you ready to get started? Yeah! I think we might be ready. We might even do a little time lapse. Ready? Yeah! So this is what we have so far, right Calvin? Yeah. We have I, the filter in the back. We have I some mean, Anubias. We have some other Anubias. We have a whole bunch of plants in here or you have our substrate or bubbles and we're gonna add water very carefully. Mm -hmm.
So what you're going to do, there's no fish in the tank, but I need you to feed your tank every day because this food, if it doesn't get eaten, remember it turns to that waste, that ammonia. Well, that beneficial bacteria on the filter needs to keep eating or they'll die. So, so this is going right to be now? feeding, yep, the beneficial bacteria. So I'm going to show you what a pinch is. You take a pinch, you put it in, I know. But I want you to show me what you Wait, think is a pinch. Okay. I just want to make sure that the beneficial bacteria stays alive until we get the fish. We could probably have fish today. We just, I want Calvin to pick out the fish. We haven't had dinner yet. So, take a pinch and put it in here and show me what you think a pinch is. No, you don't have to get up there yet. We're just practicing. Yes. And put it in here. That's, That's good. Now, take that pinch, because these are called crisps. Mm -hmm. Take a pinch and see if you can crush them up tiny, tiny before, tiny, tiny. That's it. That's what you're going to do. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now do it again. This time, take a pinch and crush up as tiny as you can and let it go in there. Crush, crush, crush. Perfect. And that's what you'll have to do. Every day. Every morning before you go to school. Or you can do it when you come home from school. <laughs> but you're only going to do it once. Because mm -hmm. what happens if you give the fish too much of this? What will happen to the fish? That's right. They will because there's going to be so much ammonia that beneficial bacteria won't be able to eat it all. And it's going to be so fat. And what happens when the fish pees and poops? That creates more ammonia. So now you have fish ammonia and pee and poop. We call it detritus. So you got fish detritus, extra food, way too much going on mm -hmm. the beneficial bacteria can't keep up right now you got enough beneficial bacteria if you feed it a small pinch crushed up every day mm -hmm. so that next week you can go to my house and pick out your fish you can have fish that give babies and the fish are already swimming <laughs> or you can get fish that lay eggs and you have to hope that they don't eat the eggs or you can get those sucker fish that swim around and they suck the algae off the glass. You're gonna have to wait on that because you won't have any algae because you got a brand new tank. There, so I pick the first one. The ones that have live, we call them live bearers. Every time no, they have babies, have babies, a real baby comes swimming out and you can see it. Sometimes 10 babies come swimming out. I want that one, I want that one so I can have like infinite fish. Okay, so I'm gonna give you one man platy and two female platies two. and that way the man's not going to pick on the female too much because he's got to have two girlfriends <laughs> and you're going to have lots and lots of fish in here lots of fish okay so now we're going to get you a top for this mm -hmm. and we're going to get you a little light are you going to need it right now no but the fish they don't need a light do you know what needs a light in this tank plants <gasps> true because photosynthesis Plants need the sun. They do. Well, so we can't put the sun in here, but we can put the lights in here. If we put the sun in there, bye. Well, let me tell you, if that sunlight from your window comes on here, you'll have a tank full of algae. So you might have to close your curtain when you go to school. Do you think you could do that? I can. Okay. You remember, close your curtain when you go to school. Otherwise, you'll have a tank full of green slime. How do I get rid of it? I'll show you how to get rid of it when we have it. Thanks everybody for watching us set up Calvin's fish tank. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you like the video so much, go look for more. Thanks everybody.